if you two had to pick the winner of this fight between these two people right here, who you rolling with? My money is on two bit, but T strings, I'm gonna give it to you first. Between two bit and Kane in a fight, who you taking? Yeah, I think I'm uh, probably roll with two bit as well. If, well, if you if, if you mean it just straight fist fight, yeah, probably so. Uh, yeah, I'll probably roll with two bit in this. Okay, Larry, yeah. who you taking? Two bit or Kane? I'm going with two bit every day, man. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not wholly convinced that Kane has those those hands. I mean, I've seen Kane beat down Lil Guap, but then after we after the way we've seen Lil Guap get handled time and time again, I'm not sure that he's much of anything. I mean, at this point, I'm not even sure Kane can put can 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 throw bones with the uh, with the. Uh, don't so you if it came down no, to no, it. no, no, no. I ain't I'm gonna, just saying I ain't gonna let you do him that badly, but I, I feel like, for all we know, for all we I, know, I, man. No, we know, no Effie no. might know you some jujitsu and might take down Kane. I don't man, know. I can't let you do Kane like that. Now okay all I'm saying is two bit with two bit. I think first of all, I think two bit is a is a straight up maniac. Like people were saying that 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 Kane was sort of a sociopath. I don't think he is. I think Kane is made that way because, like he was saying, Ma, you made me this way. Ma, Ma. I think he's like that because his mom made him like that. I don't think he really likes being that way so much. I think Two Bit's a straight up maniac. I think he's a straight up, not, not even a sociopath because sociopaths don't really have any feelings. I think Two Bit actually likes being that way. I think he's just a straight up maniac. <laughs> well, I put my money on Two Bit because I've seen. I've seen more of two bit. Kane seems like he um he only pick on people that he kind of feels are afraid of him. Um so he's a bully. To some degree, yes. Um, I think in the back of his mind, he knew Officer Rico Suave was a little afraid of him, which is why he flashed his damn gun. <laughs> and Kane said, you know what? I'm so confident that I've got you in my back pocket. I'm gonna turn my back to you, knowing you got a gun. And then you're going to put that gun away because you want to leave here scot free and he decked it. Yeah. You know, he's de now he's teaming up with Little Glock talking about respect, but that ain't respect. Little Glock is scared of him. <laughs> that, that ain't respect. That's fear. And yeah. then and then the guy that he killed in the very first episode, he know that he was afraid of him too. So um, if I'm gonna pick one of those two, I'm rolling with two bit. Yeah, roll with you. I feel like when I look at Kane, I feel like you might see Kane and ask him who he's wearing, you know. Whereas, you know, with two bit, two bits one of those dudes you walk into a room that he's in and you feel like there's just an element of danger in there. Like, like I need to watch my back because I feel like you know something's not right in this room, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of how I feel about, about two bit. I don't yeah, get that feeling for Kane for Kane. I really feel like he might be in front of a standard repeat, you know, with people asking who he's wearing. Yeah, you know, it's like two bit give you the Dennis Rodman feel, and Kane gives you the Russell Westbrook feel. That's how I break it down for you. <laughs> That's how I break it down. So, but now let's move on to the next fan theory that someone wanted me to ask you guys. I'm gonna read this one for you. Here we go. Um, Patrick Renee. Don't rule out Blanca Rodriguez coming to the stand. Remember what she told Davis McClain. If the case goes federal, she'll testify against Cooper Sacks. So mm. having said that, um, my boy, T-Streams, are we going to see Blanca pop up again? Man, that would be very, very nice. I forgot about that statement. And yeah, yeah. And they are good at dropping these trailers to push you in an entirely different direction and then coming with the powwow. Man, I, would, I wouldn't doubt if, if they did that because she is definitely someone that either, well, that either, well, that either Tamika or, uh, or Davis McClain could probably use. Okay, Larry, what you think? I have a. I think she. I think she would be back, but I have a theory about Blanca. Oh boy, I have a theory about Blanca. I think Blanca might be Effie's mom, 
And the reason why Effie always had dope was because Blanca was stealing drugs out the evidence locker. And once Blanca left her job, Effie no longer had to connect. And that's why she needed to go to Tariq and get the, and get her dope. Because she no longer had to connect once at once Blanca quit her job. So, but I think I think Blanca might be Effie's mom. I think that wine you drinking is extra strong, but <laughs> I'm going to move on to the next one. Um, whatever you drinking, you might need to pass me some, bro, because having this baby, good gracious sake. Here's the next one. Rob only Ross. Okay, I feel you, Rick Ross. Tariq is going to pin it on sax. Sax was there, and he know it. And he was drugged by his niece, which made him say, what he did at the grave, boom, sacks goes down. Okay, so Larry, I'm gonna give it to you first. Uh, can you see them pinning this on sacks and then um, Tariq telling the court that Cooper Sacks had his niece drug him, which made him say those things he said deliriously at the at the grave site. That's a good theory. That's that a is a good, good theory, and and I I can see it playing out like that. I, I definitely can see they're they're gonna go after sacks at some point. I was I was convinced that Sack was gonna that Sax was gonna, they were gonna go after Sax a lot earlier. Mm -hmm. I think they'll get to him eventually, but I don't think it's gonna be as soon as I originally thought because after the way he talked to his boss, I think they're building Sax up to be a little bit more than what he is now. I think they're finally giving him some nuts. Yeah, and yeah. they always used to make they used to always play him off as 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 the little bitch boy, you know, the little mm -hmm. bitch boy on you know Uncle Nancy. And now I think they're starting to give him a little bit of balls, and I think that they're gonna let they're gonna let that play out through the end of this season and into the next. So I think probably sometime during the next season, maybe towards the end, they'll go after Sacks. But I think this next season is gonna be a lot of um, it's gonna be they're probably gonna end this off with I don't know what they're gonna do. They'll probably throw everything out in the court. I don't know if, if Tosh is gonna get out, but I think they're gonna end up losing their case against Tariq right now. And it's going to get flipped on his head where they're going to start going after his attorney. And then it's going to get, I think we'll go into the next season with it starting to go after the, this sort of this sort of this game between McLean and, and, and Sachs and, and how we'll see how Tasha and Tariq get mixed up and all that. All right. T strings. How do you like this theory? What do you think? So I, Hey, the theory is pretty, the theory is pretty solid. You know, so here, here's here's what I think, though. Okay, Tariq can't go to jail. If it came out in court that you know, if it came out in court that that he killed that he killed them or or blah blah blah, you know, it's gonna it's gonna cause for it's gonna cause for some reason to either arrest, apprehend, hold, detain, or something for Tariq for a little while. I don't, I can't. I just don't see them ending the season with him being locked up and his mama going free. All right. Mm -hmm. So in support of that theory and support of that theory, that theory, because one, uh, Blanca knows that he was there. Okay. Um, Tariq knows that he was there. Tamika knows that he was there. Davis McQueen knows that he was there. I mean, the one reason that it could be solid is because that is one scenario that could, you know, that could cause the uh, a mistrial, and both um, Tasha and Tariq are, you know, are let out. Uh, but they could do that. They they could, you know, swing us that old cliffhanger and just, you know bring up the whole court scene at the end and just leave us in the cliffhanger to next to the next season. Who knows? Oh, they're definitely going to do that. Yeah, they're going to do that. They're going to definitely I, I, do that. I, I'm definitely with that theory. Um, I'm, you know, I, the consensus is that we're going to get a mistrial somehow, some way. And during the trailer clip, there is a BMW that's getting pulled by the police. You know, I theorize that could either be Tommy or Cooper Sacks. And if they're going to go the way that you guys are talking and the way my man's theory went, that's probably Cooper Sacks that they're arresting because I've always said that that judge knows something was up between Davis McClain and Cooper Sacks. Yeah. And so I guess yeah. we'll see. We'll see. I, I guess the, here's the thing. I don't think there's any way they could possibly get 
Tariq. I mean, because you have you have Sachs that was there that night. You have Blanca that was there that night. You have you have Tommy that was there, Tasha that was there, and Tariq. You have five people that were there. Tasha's already saying that that uh Tommy did it. And then you have the other, you have you have Sachs who's basically withholding information, trying to make it seem like he wasn't there. Soon as that is her, as soon as that's found out, I can't imagine like, if I was on that jury. And I found out he, the prosecutor was there. There's no way in hell you would ever get me to convict that person. That was, I would, there's no way. It would be impossible. Even if I knew that person was guilty as hell, I'd be like, nah, I just, I can't. There's something dirty and I'm not buying it. I'm not sending a person to jail when I have a little bit of doubt, you know, with the prosecutor being there. I was like, the prosecutor was there and now they're trying to send this person to jail for this. All we know is he might have done it. I, nah, you can't, nah. There's no, no way they're convicted. I don't think they're convicted Tariq or anybody else for that killing. To me, that theory is one of the better ones. You can easily get a mistrial for that. Easily yeah. get a mistrial for that. I can see that coming. But here we go to the next one. Um, oh, Lord. I, I shouldn't even have used this one as an example because this one makes this one makes my soul hurt. Uh-oh. Eric Tool, and you got the right last name, buddy, for this damn comment, Tool. I think that <laughs> Lady Carey gonna die. Larry, oh, he had to go in on the brother for his name. Come on, man. Hey, man why he got to go in on Carey? For what? Because I, I feel I feel him because Carey's got some dangerous. She's got some danger around her right now. Oh my God, not you. She doesn't realize it, but she does. She's got she's sneak in there with the, with the whole Larry. Monet thing going on. She's Larry. interviewing these kids, Larry. Is she going to die this season or not? No, she's not dying this season, but I wouldn't be surprised if she ended up dying because, I mean, she does have some danger around her, whether she realizes it or not. And Eric, too, you know, we just jostling with you, my man. We love all your comments. I wouldn't even have picked your comment had it not been funny. People like to tease me about Carrie. So, T-Stream. Hey, hey, Eric, next time, Eric, next time you make a comment about Carrie, put a lock and key on there. Or maybe a ghost. No, yeah, that's the quickest way not to get your comment on the air. T stream. <laughs> what you think? Is prof is Professor Carey, ex prosecutor, is she gonna There die she is? Him? I knew what? just like clockwork, Moochie was coming through for me. You know what, Moochie, you done. <laughs> Moochie, Moochie may not see this screen. For a whole year. I'm up, I'm about to ban Moochie for 2021. Mm -mm -mm. I'm <laughs> I don't see I don't see her being off just yet. Okay. Uh so this this is this is this is my idea on this. So I, I think she's gonna try she, she's gonna try to use her uh prosecutor influence maybe somewhere in the next season or something. Mm -hmm. And that'll get her snapped. But oh. I, I I think, I think Jabari, I think uh, Professor Jabari is going to go first. And then they, I don't think it would be fair or right to have both of them killed within three or four episodes of each other. So that means, and that means that I think that Jabari is going to get killed and then she'll probably get handled later on down the line trying to do some legal stuff. Uh yeah, but I, I don't. I don't think they're going to clip her. Uh, I don't think they're going to clip her. Somebody's going to die. Somebody's going to die this weekend, but it ain't going to be her. You know who I'd like to see get taken out this weekend? Who's that? I would like. I would like to see Tariq and Lauren actually go on a date or hook up somehow. And while they're out together, two bit <laughs> rolls up. And and when two bit rolls up, maybe they're all up on. Maybe the two of them are on campus together doing their thing. Two bit rolls up on them, and. And two bits like giving, you know, talking to Tariq, not so coded. And Lauren's like, what's going on? What's going on? And while he's up there starting to get a little ruckus with him, to, uh, uh, Lauren's man rolls up. And two bit just in a, just like not even thinking twice about it, just like rolls out. Bow! Blacks just, just pops, dude. And was like, I need my 50 grand and rolls out. That would be it. So you, you want to see Mushmouth Malcolm get killed. That's yeah, I want to see. I want to see Two Bit take him out in front of Lauren, 
So Lauren, real, she's she's forced to deal with what Tariq is. Well, Larry, you know that over the next couple of seasons, she's gonna know what Tariq is all about. I mean, you can see the writing on the wall. That's gonna. I come. mean, we're not. Jabari's not getting. I know everybody wants to see Jabari's punk ass taken out. Jabari's not getting taken out because he's too integral to to to. Hold to, on, uh, Larry, to Larry, story. hold on, hold on, because that's the next comment. That's the next comment. The next person that the and the final one, um, Persona TV. That is funny about Zeke and plagiarism Jabari. Man, you dropped that comment. I talked about it in the newer video. I did my man tell your wife, my husband doesn't like him either. And they're talking about Professor Plagiarism. And like Larry is saying, they're not about to get rid of him. So finish your, st your statement, Larry. Yeah, I just think that his his story is too. It's too interwoven. It's too integral to, to to Professor Milgram's story, and so they just can't get rid of him yet. Like I feel like if they're gonna get rid of him, Professor Milgram is 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 next, and the only way she wouldn't go out is if they built up another story for her, be totally independent of him. And right now we don't have that. Even all the other stuff with her, with her and Zeke, all of that is still connected with with Professor Jabari, and so. You have to, you have to, you have to separate her from Jabari so that they can kill Jabari and still let her character live on. And right now they haven't done that, so I just don't see him getting taken out. Um, T Streams, in terms of Jabari, you want to keep him on the show? Do you think he brings gravity to the show? Or are you ready for him to get killed too? Man, he don't bring no kind of gravity. Oh I can watch the whole show and not even see that lame duck, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, God. His well, character's interesting. Yeah, I don't like his character, but it's interesting. It's interesting. He, his character yeah, it, makes a good antagonist. It, it, it makes it, it it makes a decent antagonist, man. I just I just have this this thing about dudes that act like broads, man. And he's like he's like at the top, you know, at the top tier levels of that. That genre right there, he's but um, he, he pussy will. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you know, yeah, he he he, de he definitely he definitely something. But um, coming from a non biased from a non biased perspective, if a show has characters that you love to hate or that you really feel personal about, then the show have done its job. So from that perspective. Uh, from that perspective, I'll say that uh, his his character is, is a nicely developed character to have uh, to have accent to show. All right, with his subplots and whatever they have uh, going on with Jabari. But personally, I would love to see him go. I love. <laughs> him. Okay, now now T Street was asking Lamont. Trust yeah, me, was to... asking. When they're going to take out a... Um, I saw that. I was about to yeah. put her up here next. She was talking about Lauren's parents. And no, she I wants haven't. to know, she wants to know, are we going to get more of Lauren's parents' backstory and what drove Lauren's brother into the insane asylum? Um, good catch, because I didn't forget about that. And this is what I mean when I say that the writers of this story have interweaven so many different stories into one series that they can take this thing multiple seasons and in multiple directions. So, Larry, do you think we're going to get anything on the backstory of Lauren? And could we ever see a situation where Jabari is sleeping with the mama? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. I think Jabari and the moms are smashing. If they if they're not yet, I think they are going to. She's the mom is definitely feeling him. The mom is definitely feeling him, and I and I fully expect that that she's going to be. They're going to be smashing. Okay. So, Okay, so we'll see. but she also brought up an interesting question. She was asking about when Stern's husband's gonna die, and and I think that's something that Stern's is gonna have to either Stern's is gonna do it or he's gonna have it set up because I think of it because you know we know from the beginning that he went behind Stern's back and set up that whole thing with the app, and he doesn't, as far as we know, Stern's doesn't know about it yet, and eventually it's gonna get found out. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll be back New Year's Eve to get y'all ready to go and party in midnight. Um, Wait, New Year's Eve is tomorrow. Oh, no, my bad. I mean, Friday, New Year's Day, excuse me. I think we'll be back New Year's Day. 
um, get y'all ready for the weekend, rather. Um, and we'll do a little bit of uh, final analysis for what we think is going to happen on power and whatever hot stories are going on that day. We really appreciate you all following us throughout this whole entire year. This will be our last time seeing you guys in the year 2020. Set some goals and set realistic goals that you can try to reach in 2021. I might even discuss some of those goals on the Friday night show. 